information true crime community. True crime community has been infiltrated. True crime king. Back. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? How we doing today? All right, so today we are going to be playing Who is the Bigger Clown? Right? So I'm going to play two videos, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments, and I'll talk about it during my lives. Let me know who is the bigger clown. I mean, obviously we know that both of these... Uh, people in these videos are clowns but one of them has to be a bigger idiot i want to know who you guys think's a bigger clown here's video number one on december 3rd 2022 just a few weeks before christmas an officer spotted a woman who had run from him only two weeks earlier she drove her car into a parking space when the officer spotted her the officer called a few other cops to make an attempt to grab her before she tried to get away again the officers acted quickly and parked their car behind hers to make sure she couldn't back out and drive off. Hey, ma'am, could you open the door? Yeah, that's it. See the, the little part right there? Ma'am, you go ahead and open the door. Four, 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 Alright, copy advice. That's 28 is showing associated with a signal 65 priority. They're critical Walmart off the right part, approximately. 11 days ago. I copy. I copy. I pulled the slide out of the toilet. Go ahead. Oh, there you go. Hey, the sticks are on the ground. She's put it in reverse. Hey, Oh, the sticks are going to hit it. Open the door. Please. Hey, uh, the bro, the window down. Hey, 14, where's your sticks at? Oh, you want me to grab my sticks? I can put them in the front, too. Because I want to talk to you. I... What? What's for the name call it? I've been nothing up but nice to you. Babe, can you step out? I think you got a good ticket. Did I? Yeah, I hear air leaking. After turning the wheels a few times and swearing at the officers, the cops whip out their sticks and prepare to get her out of the car. But this lady has a much better idea. She wants to sit in the car and play a few songs before she gets dragged to the slammer. The officers talk to each other, and here we find out that she actually has 65 charges and has also been charged with fleeing and eluding in the past. Let's take to the last one. Just hold on the window. Just hold down a little bit. Be careful, she whips that thing out. Yeah. It's just it. Just hold on that a little bit. So what we got is this lady has 65 charges from McGovern and I get she got plea and eluding charges for Centeno. We've already confirmed um, we've I went to Broadway and asked for the case number that should be on the screen. I put my sticks in the back. That sticks already hit the back left tire. She's been trying to get out, like, slowly. Okay. Um, and then she just doesn't want to open the door. The officers have her boxed in. She had multiple charges, from fleeing and eluding to shoplifting. This woman's done it all. With everything she's done, we can't believe this woman still refuses to get out of the vehicle as if she hasn't caused enough trouble already. She just sits in her car and ignores the officers, probably hoping that they'll just disappear. Sadly for her, the cops are not going to back down. Listen, you can pretend that you don't hear me, but this is what's going to happen. We have charges for your arrest right now. 
if you do not open this door, we will break these windows and we will get you out. Do you understand me? There's probable cause for your arrest. Probable cause for your arrest. I'll explain to you if you step out. There's no need for this. Shoplifting, flee and elude. So this will happen one of two ways. Each one of those ways ends up with you going to jail tonight. You understand me? But I don't want to do that. I want you to come out. You can tell me what the issue is. Look around. There's nowhere to go but out of this door. Ma'am, you, you're not free to go. You are under arrest. You need to come out. The tire's going to point towards you. If she turns, she's going to turn to you guys. What? I can't hear you. Can you get your car closer to that? I can't hear you. You need to roll your window down or something. Understand that we need you to come out of this vehicle. Instead of cooperating, this Karen decides to make one last attempt at getting out of her predicament. She backs her car up and tries to go for the gap, but the officers are too quick and stop her before she can get away. The officers are also extremely patient. They still try to talk her out of her car, but enough is enough, and they finally break the window of her car. Hey, reverse lights are on. Hi. Break it. Hi. Ma'am, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Step out. Nobody's gonna shoot you. Hit unlock. Hit unlock on that. Hit unlock on the door. Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. No. Step out. No. You're gonna get pepper sprayed. Pepper spray me. Gonna be up. Come out, ma'am. We're good, we're good. We're we good. got enough. Watch this hand, watch this hand, watch this hand. Maybe she's not resisting. Double up, double up. Double up. Hey, for what you not stir up. There's no need for this. This is all because you, you chose to. Alright, let's roll over. We're gonna roll it down. That was easy. Alright. All right. You want your shoes? No, sir, because I can't stand up. Uh, you want to sit on your butt? Yeah. Ouch. Thank you. Okay. Wherever this case is, I'll be seeing The officers read her Miranda rights and take her to the back of the cop car. And believe it or not, she actually cooperates and gets into the car without any issues. She was charged with resisting without violence, fleeing and eluding the police, and possession of MDPV, a designer drug in the phenethylamine class that's used to help with chronic fatigue. When she got to jail, she rolled in in a wheelchair and got booked. I mean, wow. It's going to be uh, very hard uh, to top that. I mean, that lady... She 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 had over 65 charges that she was wanted for, right? She was, uh, one of those was fleeing and eluding, and she tried to flee and elude again. I mean, it, it, super, that's one of the biggest clowns I've, I've ever seen. But that's number one. Here's our second clown. On November 20th, 2023, this crazy Karen confronted her neighbors with a butcher knife at their home on Ogibi Way, accusing them of stealing her dog. The Karen, 24-year-old Kyriana Rebecca Lyles, calmly called the cops about her dog at 10.30 a.m. That's when the authorities were first made aware of the situation. Here's the call from when dispatchers called her back. Yeah, she's barking in the same spot in someone's backyard. But I knocked on two of the neighbor's doors. One of them answered, said that they didn't have the dog. It sounds like it's coming from the house behind us. But I, it's like hard to tell. Can you give me an address of where we need to go? Yeah. And can you see your dog? Can I what? How do you know it's your dog? 
just because I know what my dog is barking sounds like. Just a few seconds later, another call came in from the same area, reporting that a woman was walking around with a butcher knife and that she was trying to break into their house. The woman on the line tells the dispatcher that she tried to open their fence to get into their backyard. Hey, I'm calling. Um, I live in Ranch Cordova, and there's this woman walking around with a, with a butcher knife, and she just tried to break into our house. What address is this at? And is the person white, black, Hispanic, or Asian? She's white. She's wearing checkered shorts. She's holding around a butcher knife, and she's going around what and trying shirt, to break into people's houses. Oh, what shirt was she wearing? Oh, hold on, let me look at my camera. And do you know if she did she try to did she try to open any other neighbors' doors or just yours? I'm not sure if she did or not. She came to our door once to try to get in through the door and by the time we got out there she was gone. Then about three minutes later she circled back and started opening our fence to get into our backyard and that's when we saw her. And she started like banging on the doors and the gates. I don't know if she went to anybody else's house though. Realizing that the two calls seem to be connected, the cops call Kyrieta back and ask her if she was walking around with a knife. Is this? Yes, uh, I just got a phone call. Uh huh. That was me. Yes. Are you? Kidding? I know who has. Okay. I already know who has my dog. Yes, yeah, my family. dog's in the backyard. Okay. I need an officer to help you. Are you carrying a butcher knife? No, I'm sitting in a chair in my room. You're sitting in a chair in your room. You don't have a knife at all. No. Okay. What? What's your address? What's your room? I got my dog, thank you. Oh, you already have your dog. Kyrieta hung up on the officers, and it looks like she has her dog again. However, the cops still make their way to her just to ensure that everything's okay. They first meet with the couple who called about Kyrieta, and they tell the officers that they haven't seen her in this area before. They tell the officers that she was extremely hostile towards them, even after they told her that they didn't have her dog. The couple gets the doorbell footage from their phone and show the officer the exact moment Kyrieta approached their home with the knife. Is this her down here in the car, or where'd she go? She walked that way. Is she one of your neighbors? So she says she lives. She actually knows where she lives. I've never seen her before. Mm. We just came out here because she was in her backyard. Mm. We were like, what are you doing? She said, oh, you guys stole my dog and then pulled the knife out on us. We were like, we don't have your dog. And then how, how put she, the knife down. How is she holding the knife? I could actually see I have yes, a video of the green camera. The yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, what the heck? And I didn't even see that she had a knife until we have, a dog we have two dogs. And so they're our neighbors both, behind are they both your dogs? Or they might find one of them. No, 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 they're both ours. Though. And then the, she was like, "Oh, I can hear the dogs barking." I was like, "Our neighbors behind us also have dogs." Mm -hmm. And so I was like, "They're the ones that are probably barking." Because we're like, oh, "Yeah." So let me pause it real quick. So actually, I actually downloaded the video. Yeah, she, the first time she came, she knocked, and then by the time I got out, she was already walking away. And then this time, she came back in, and we were like, all of a sudden, I heard this like super loud banging, and I was like, what the heck was that? And so um, I got out, and I was like, make sure the dogs don't get out. So I walked out, and then on my other cameras, I saw that she just like barged into the backyard, and I was like, what the heck? And then by that time, when I came out, she was like walking out and i'm like hey what are you doing and then she was like i'm looking for my dog you guys have my dog i'm like you don't have your dog mm -hmm. and i didn't see that she even had a knife and then my wife was like what are you doing with that knife and she's like put that knife away and then she like hit it behind and she was like she was kind of like swinging it a little bit she wasn't like doing anything but mm -hmm. she was like um like, i'm looking for my dog and mm -hmm. so i was like she said something like someone's gonna like hurt her dog if she doesn't get it back i was like we don't have your dog mm -hmm. and so um, then she put it in the back mm -hmm. and then walked away. Uh, yeah, but apparently uh, she knows where she mm -hmm. lives. So. In the doorbell video, you can clearly see Kyrieta with a knife in her hand at the front door. In the background, you can hear a dog barking. After the cops saw this video, they scoured the streets in search of Kyrieta and her butcher knife. They found her down the road in her car, which was parked in the driveway of her home in Malaga Way. When they asked her what was going on, she closed the door in the officer's face. Uh, 
outside. Hello, ma'am. I'm dealing you control with your dog? right now. Can, Can you please? control your dog? Well, she's just sitting there. Okay. I just got back from getting her. I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm going through a lot. What are you going through? Here, ma'am, come out here for a minute. No. Yes. No. We gotta talk Leave about something. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ma'am, step out of the car. Hi, Buff. Someone stole my dog. Someone stole your dog? Yeah. Okay. My, all you my live gates here? are closed. I went outside, still no gates are open. And she's not in the backyard. Do you live here? Yes, I own this house. You own this house? Yes. Okay. Step out here for a minute. Come on. No, Step I out of the car, keep wrong. your hands in sight. Kyrietta puts her vehicle in reverse and backs it up while the officer's still holding her hand. She then switches to drive and beelines towards the officer, chasing him all over her lawn. The officer fired seven times, with his partner shooting three shots. Later they found out that they shot Kyrietta in the arm. Thankfully, none of the officers or the pup was injured. As she rushed off, the officers made their way to their vehicles to start the chase. She was on the run for 15 minutes before she was called. Vehicle's going to be a white Dodge Challenger heading now southbound. Shots fired, shots fired. All officers are okay. Vehicle fled from us. It's a white female adult attached to the call. the dog out of the car and slowly creeps her car forward. However, this time she decides that enough is enough and that she isn't going to run for it anymore. She opens the door and gets out of the car, following the officer's instructions to a T. Deputies take her to the ground and place her in cuffs. Turn around! Turn around! Face away! Go! Go! After she was placed in cuffs, the officers took Kyriana to the hospital where they treated her gunshot wound. She was then booked into the Sacramento County Jail and charged with assaulting an officer. She's still there at this moment and has a bail bond of half a million dollars. What a fucking idiot, right? I mean, she calls the police. She goes to the house with a butcher knife, right? Then the police find her and she doesn't even want to talk to the police, right? It's shot in the process. I mean, what is wrong with these people nowadays? It's just ridiculous. Total clowns. But as you can see, both of these women are clowns. Let's have a debate in the comments. And uh, my live tomorrow, we will discuss which one of these two was the bigger clown, right? Hope you guys have a great day, and until next time, True Crime King, out.